Alright, even though I said I'm taking a few days off, I do miss making videos. A while ago, I made a guide on unlocking black lion skins virtually for free. A lot of you liked the video, some were less than used. Well, good or maybe bad news. Anyway, I don't care. Black Lion weapon skins are going through something of a wild ride lately. But before diving into the details, a brief refresher. Because I wasn't the greatest at explaining back then, still not, but at least 3% better. If you head over to the achievements tab in the hero panel, you can find the Black Lion collections all the way at the bottom of the collections tab. All of these weapon skins were at one point introduced through Black Lion chests. Mind you, not all collections will show up for you. Sometimes you have to unlock at least one skin before they do. And when you collect all relevant skins, you'll get Black Lion tickets as a reward. Usually 7, although some of the older ones will only give you 5. Don't worry too much about this, because I'll introduce a few tools that will do all of the heavy lifting for you. These tickets can then be used to buy even more weapon skins, and the most recent collection usually costs one ticket per weapon, while the older ones get incrementally more expensive and usually aren't worth it. A final option would be the vintage Black Lion weapon boxes, which will be our benchmark. Why these, you might wonder? Well, if you can complete a collection for less than a price of 7 vintage boxes, then you can recoup whatever gold you spent by selling those on a trading post. Sometimes it's also worth checking out the current collection that goes for 1 ticket per skin, but this isn't one of those times. Early on in the video, I mentioned the price going through somewhat of a ride. Well, it's mainly buy listings falling off a cliff, causing the spread with the sell price to increase massively. This makes completing collections more challenging than if you could instantly buy all of the skins. But we can overcome this with the right strategy. To make the whole process easier, we'll rely on DataWars and GW2 BLTC. The former will help identify the total cost of a collection, while the latter will help identify specific items we need to keep an eye on. DataWars also gives a ticket cost, which basically divides the total price of a set by the amount of tickets we'll be receiving. Put simply, if that price is lower than a price of a vintage weapon box, minus the TP taxes, then we can complete collections virtually for free. Using buy orders will be risky at times, and involves some extra effort, because you'll want to check your orders at least once a day, if not more, to ensure you're not being outbid. And if you're left with one or two skins missing, you can't recoup your initial investment, as the tickets are only awarded once you're done. So how do we go about this? Well, in a collection such as the Reflective Koi set runs you near break-even, you can probably buy most skins outright. For all others, place buy orders, especially for the skins with the biggest spreads. And let's take the Draconic set as an example. The Greatsword and the Shortbow will cost you nearly 20 gold each if you were to instantly buy them. But a buy order would reduce that price to 8 to 9 gold. So what you'll want to do is use buy listings for all of the skins until you have at least those and a few others filled. Next, save these skins in your bank. Don't unlock them straight away. These will be your insurance if things go awry. And once enough orders fill to unlock most of the collection, or maybe all of the expensive ones, you should decide for yourself if you want to buy all of the missing ones. I've been employing this method for a while now, and usually I can complete the set within a week. If things do go wrong, you can always just relist the skins that are sitting in your bank. That's the insurance I mentioned. Once you do manage to complete a collection, trade in your tickets for vintage boxes and list those on the trading post. I've had decent luck with them selling relatively quickly. If this makes you uncomfortable, you could always instant sell them, which will reduce the amount of collections you can complete at any given time, but you have some peace of mind. There's one more thing, and that's the weapons in the current rotation. At this moment, you can get Eternal Forge skins from Black Lion chests. Usually, this means that the trading posts will get flooded with these from people opening chests as they hope to either unlock one of the exclusives or get one of the more elusive rewards. I've been using this as an opportunity to complete a lot of collections rather cheap. If you don't really care about this, you could also just buy these skins and relist them later once they've gone out of rotation. One of our Discord members does this with the home gathering notes that might drop from the chest as well. And they've been kind enough to share the spreadsheet they use to keep track of all of this on Discord. So head over there if this is something that you want to take a look at. Anyway, that's it. <gasps> please, please, no! <laughs> Come on, dude! Did you really have to do that? Oh no, is he dead? Do not tell me there is another phase.
Oh my god, I was so happy I was done.